What's up, guys? Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer, back for part two of the Trader Joe's series. Yesterday, I posted part one of the Trader Joe's series where um, I went into a little bit of information about uh, where the Trader Joe's stores get their uh, Trader Joe's line of beer. Um, they have a couple of different, I hesitate to say generic, but in-house brands of beer uh, from a handful of different breweries. Uh, today, we'll be checking out uh, more under the Joseph's Brow banner. And um, all those beers are made by the Gordon Beer Brewing Company, uh, based in San Jose, California. They are a brewery and beer pub. If you want more information on um, on Trader Joe's and their beers, I'm going to post part one of this series in the links below, in the description below, along with all the other links. Um, so you can check out the first few minutes of that uh, video review, have more information on, on Trader Joe's and their beer. But for right now, we're going to get into the first beer from Joseph Sproul. This is their Hefeweizen. Uh, notes on the bottle. Uh, Bavaria style Hefeweizen. In Bavaria, a unique, unique strain of wheat beer yeast produces an array of distinct flavor qualities typical of a true Hefeweizen. Citrus, bubblegum, clove, and banana. Joseph Sproul Bavarian style Hefeweizen is fermented with this exceptional strain. In accordance with the German pur purity law, the superior beer is brewed with a minimum of 50% malted wheat, 5.3% alcohol by volume, 12 IBUs. Um, I do appreciate the descriptions are um, very basic and really just kind of, if you don't know a lot about the specific style of beer, um, gives you a nice base knowledge on um the ingredients, how the flavors come about, stuff like that. Just nice, nice solid basic knowledge that uh, that each beer is, the qualities of each beer. So taking a look at this, it is very orange and quite hazy. Turn on a light, hold it up. Uh, yeah, orange, maybe a little bit of gold highlights, but pretty solidly orange. And again, I can, uh, not it's not totally cloudy, I, I can... See the shadow of my fingers through the other side of the glass, but um, it's otherwise uh, pretty cloudy. Can't really make out any kind of detail as I uh, rotate the glass, look at the logos. I can just see this right here is a big circle. And um, in terms of head, about a finger of head, kind of hanging around. Or maybe it was a little bit more a moment ago. Uh, not too much carbonation that I can see, though again... With all the cloudiness, some of it may be eluding me. All right, let's go ahead and drink. Um, big spicy citrus aroma as I was holding it up to my nose. That's kind of what over overtook my entire. Uh, the aroma kind of overtook my flavor, my tasting uh, judgment. Hmm. Kind of in the same vein as the uh, Bohemian style lager in that it's just a, a very, very nice uh, basic representation of the style. A lot of things they talked about, plenty of clove, a little bit of banana. I'm um, getting a little bit of banana more in the, in the aroma than the taste, but plenty of clove, a good, uh, good little citrus bite, and um, plenty of that bubblegummy sweetness. It is maybe just a hair sweeter and a hair more bubblegummy than I would like. I'm kind of more of a fan of, uh, more I guess what you would call the natural ingredients of, uh, of Hefeweizen, the banana, the clove, uh, that kind of stuff. But, um, not bad at all. Not bad at all. So, um, but again, very, very basic, very straightforward. And again, just a, a, a decent representation of the the Hefeweizen style. So, quick and painless, let's uh, go ahead and check out the second beer. All right, our final beer for this Trader Joe's mini series: Joseph's Brow Winter Brew Dark Doppelbach Lager. Joseph's Brow Brewing Company's Winter Brew is a rich dark bock. 
inspired by the beers of Bavarian monks, inspired by the beers Bavarian monks brewed to lift their spirits during the long fasts of Lent. Dark roasted Munich and caramel malts worked wonders for hungry monks. Our winter brew is sure to do the same for you. 7.5% alcohol by volume, 28 IBU. Okay. Uh, perfectly see-through. Not held up to light. It's kind of like a, a, a ruby color, a nice red color. Pulling up to the light kind of gets more more coppery. Um, but really pretty color, I must say. Um, yeah, just red, reddish copper. Maybe just more of an orange copper highlight. And uh, almost no head, you can see. And I can see virtually no bubbles uh, shooting up through the beer inside the glass. So uh, very, very little carbonation overall. Let's check it out. Hmm. A whole ton of multi sweetness in the room as I was uh, going over that first taste and in that taste itself. Mm -hmm. Lots of malty sweetness, good solid malt backbone, a um, little bit of chocolate as well. Just a, a little bit of booziness, but it's not harsh at all. Uh, it's, it's pretty smooth, 7.5% ABV. You're starting to get to the, the point where it might be making its presence felt. But, um, again, not harsh, not overwhelming at all. Very, very subtle. Um, just kind of blended into that that chocolatey, caramelly sweetness in a, in a nice way. Maybe just a slight toasty malt note, but... Um, Otherwise, just very sweet malt, malt notes, but um, really tasty, really tasty. Um, again, fa fairly, pretty well indicative of a kind of the winter warmer, Christmas beer, holiday beer kind of a kind of a thing. Um, relatively high alcohol. Multi, fairly dark. This is probably on the lighter side of a lot of what we'll see. I'll be doing a, uh, looking to do a Christmas beer series, probably starting right after Thanksgiving here, so in the next week or so. But um, just solid style. That's really kind of the the biggest thing I'm getting out of these these Trader Joe's beers. Again, they're relatively cheap. I think they're seven dollars for a six pack. I was getting. Uh, singles for buck seventeen, so that would that would line up with uh with that price. Excuse me, but um nothing nothing earth shattering, nothing groundbreaking, just just so solid representations of the styles, and I think that's the biggest takeaway from uh, most of these uh, Trader Joe's beers. Um, I'm not going to do rankings specifically, but just as a quick recap. Um, the Pilsner yesterday, I was not a, a big fan of. It was it was nice starting out, but the back end had a, a real harsh hop bite note that um, I felt just didn't really go well with the rest of the beer. But on the Bohemian Style Lager, again, just a solid representation of style, tastier than your your average lager, and uh, pretty solid. And same with um, both the beers we had now, the, uh, the Hefeweizen... Uh, again, probably just a little bit sweeter than I like, um, but but solid overall, solid execution, and same with this Doppelbach. Just you know, just good solid beers. I don't I don't know how often I'll I'll go to get them, to be honest. But um, if I'm if I need something that's just nice and simple and representative of what I'm looking for, it's like if I'm just looking for a a solid wheat beer. I fully acknowledge it. It's a a, a, a nice option for people. And more importantly, it's a nice option at a really, really good price. Um, you're not going to be finding 
too much good craft beer at seven dollars a six pack or a buck seventeen a single again I'm normally if I'm buying singles they're two to three dollars give or take fifty cents so and that's not even you know that's ignoring the 22 ounce bombers and the the 750 milliliter bottles I can run 12 15 20 dollars for you know essentially two beers or two and a half beers so um, nice and affordable solid representations of style that's what I would uh, pull out of those, these uh, Trader Joe's beers so that's it for this edition of poorly reviewed beer you can find all of our reviews both video and written at poorlyreviewedbeer.com also check us out on Twitter and Facebook those links will be in the description below and again the part one of this series from yesterday will also be linked in the description below if you are so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.